Safari already does a solid job downloading files. What could we possibly need a download manager for? Well, the truth is, the name download manager is a bit deceiving. It's not about managing and keeping organized lots of downloads. It's about splitting the download into separate threads, which drastically will speed up a throttled download. Today's essential app is Folks. Folks is a download manager for Mac that A, is a singular place to access your downloaded files, B, can break down a large download into smaller pieces in order to accelerate the speed of the download, and C, is the best BitTorrent client for Mac hands down. If you're the kind of person who downloads photos and songs here and there, or maybe a folder containing a few megabytes of data once in a while, you most likely don't need folks and will be fine with Safari or whatever web browser you use. But for those who download large files regularly, a download manager is a great app to have. I can go to Preferences, Browsers, and then click Install Extensions, and they'll have options for Safari, Chrome, Firefox, and Opera. So it's telling me that I need to go to Safari and then Extensions to activate it. So I'm gonna go to Safari, Safari Preferences, Extensions, and here's folks, and I'm going to check it. Now when I go to download a file, I can right-click it and scroll down to download with folks. It'll load the download link into the program and then gives us the option to save to the location of our choice. And here you can choose the amount of threads you want to split the download into. I found trying it first on two threads is best practice just to see how fast the download is, but if you're looking to get faster download speeds, try bumping the threads up to a higher number. I'm going to hit OK to start the download. So it looks like through folks I'm getting around 1.5 megabytes per second average. So it's going pretty slow, let's try bumping the threads up to 8. And you can see right away, after turning the threads up, we're getting about 5 megabytes per second average. Let's check the download speeds if we do it directly in Safari. It looks like we're getting less than a megabyte per second. 